Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Trailer DIY Ninja, and today we are going to be testing and reviewing the silicone resin keycap mold. Okay, let's get started. I bought this kit off Amazon. It took forever because apparently all the mold kits were sold out or they just weren't what I was looking for. Um, they don't really give you specifics of what the mold is, like what profile, what um, stem shape or anything like that. So let's find out. Uh, this kit was actually pretty inclusive, which I was surprised about. A lot of kits were cheaper, but they only had that little cat paw or animal paw mold and I don't want that because I want to make some novelty custom sculpted resin keycaps so let me show you what's in the mold first all they first all <laughs> first of all they give you a keycap puller which is nice and they gave what one two three four five keycap molds of different sizes I think these two may be the same size though but I'm not positive, but they do give like a large one, which is what I was looking for. Like the deeper, the better, so you can include more embeds and create more like of a scene in there. This one by far is probably the tallest one, which is what we're probably going to test out. Then there is a lower profile one, and then it just gets smaller, like the height gets smaller and smaller as we go down. And this one is the shortest. So depending on what key size you have on your mechanical keyboard, you can pick the mold that fits best for you. I'm going to try the largest one just cause I wanna see if it works. And they also give you the shift and the larger keys and a spacebar mold, right? Or did they not? Actually, maybe they didn't. Oh no, no spacebar mold. That's disappointing, unless, oh wait, this one is the spacebar mold. I was like, I'm tripping, <laughs> okay. It's early morning again, I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in. And if you're new to my channel, I can't see very well. So I go, I do everything by feel. So yeah, okay. This is the spacebar mold. It's kind of hard to see also because the silicone is clear. So they give you a spacebar mold and then also like your shift and your larger keys. So I think this, yeah. So these are different sizes. This one's a little shorter. This one's a little longer. This one seems longest. So depending on what key you wanna make, they give you everything you need in this kit. I was pretty surprised. They all, oh, oh, sorry. They also give, so these two are the same height, but I forgot to mention that this is a different mold. This one is the paw print mold. So it actually comes with the paw print mold along with just like the regular keycaps, which is awesome. I will put the link to this kit in the description down below. I had to wait a while before getting it, um, not because it took a long time to ship, but because they were all sold out and it didn't restock for like another month. So once it restocked, I bought it right away and it came in about two days. So yeah, pretty cool. This was about, I believe, 16 to 17, $18, something like that. But yeah, like I said, I'll put all the links to everything I use in the description box down below. Okay, so I'm going to take my resin and I'm using the tallest keycap mold. And I've also found some little embed pieces to put in here. Um, they're just like faceted gem pieces. Let's see if I can show you. It's kind of like a clear, purpley, transparent thing. Let me just put them in here for now to hold it. So this mold actually, since it's the tallest, has four regular keycaps and one like shift key keycap. I'm just gonna make two at the moment and I'm just first going to pour um, a layer of clear resin, UV resin, into the mold. Look! I
I'm just using my pipette to spread it. I don't even feel any resin in here. I think I might have to put more. Okay, so I'm currently curing the piece, but I guess I lost the footage of where I used my heat gun to pop the bubbles. Basically, I just spread a thin layer on the bottom and then I used my heat gun here to pop any bubbles. I don't know if it worked or not because I can't see. It was like clear on clear. It was really hard to see since I want the top to be clear. But anyways, it's in the UV lamp at the moment. I just put this little cardboard here to block the light and I'll check it when it comes out. Okay, so it's fresh out the lamp and I can feel that it's hard on the bottom. So now I'm gonna put the embeds in. Um, like I said earlier, these are just some random jewel-shaped stuff that I had made before. So yeah, it's completely hard putting it in. I probably didn't have to cure it that one, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put these in however I want it. It doesn't really matter since I'm just testing it at the moment and I got some resin on my mat and it's making this part sticky. But yeah, I should have had some baby wipes ready. But anyways, this is what it looks like at the moment. I think I'll put this one this way. That'd be cuter. I don't want to stretch the mold. But yeah, I'm just gonna place this in here. I'll just put it in however it wants to stay. Actually, I should probably put a little bit of resin and then stick them in so that it can um, not move around as much. So, here we go. Just gonna squeeze a little in here. All right. Okay, be patient, please, baby. Okay. And I do have tweezers. Hold on. Okay, so I have the embeds in there. They're not really placed correctly, but this is just a test, so we'll see how that goes. Then I'm gonna mix up some resin in a silicone cup. Where did it go? It was here somewhere. Everything's clear, I can't see. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna mix up some resin in a silicone cup and add some glitter, and then I'll pour another layer over the embeds. Okay, so I have a little pipette and a silicone thing here. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of resin. I can't tell how much came out, but hopefully enough. Okay, let me get some glitter. Be right back. Okay, so I think this is like silver. Can't really tell, but I'm gonna pour some in here. Let's just zoom out a little. Okay. And I'm gonna take my pipe it and just Stir this around. Looks like I need more resin. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just poured some silver glitter in. Gonna add more resin because that was not enough. A squeeze. It's kind of cold today, so my resin is. Pretty thick. All right, there's my pipette. I'm gonna wipe down my bottle really quick. Feels sticky. Okay, so 
So always make sure you have like some baby wipes on hand because this gets messy. But there we go. I can't tell how much is in here still. But I think that might be enough. Let's just try to suck some up and see what happens. Bring this back here. Let's just fill it in. Air bubbles. Okay, that looks pretty full, so I don't really want it to be overfilled. Okay, right now I'm going to get my heat gun and just blast this really quick to get rid of any air bubbles. All the glitter moved in the middle. I'm just gonna try to spread that out a little bit. Okay. Now we have to prepare the stems. So I'm just gonna move that. I'm gonna put these two. 
I'm just going to squirt a little bit into the stem here. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and just squirt into here. Hopefully, it gets in there. And then also do this next one. Ugh, it's kind of hard, really hard to see here. Okay, this part might be messy. But let's hope. <laughs> Making a huge mess. Okay. So I have these two stems kind of filled in. Just use my tweezers and make sure it's in there. It's really hard to see. Hope that filled enough. Unclear, but okay. I'm just gonna lift this and put this in the mold. Yikes, this one's not closing. Stay down, please. This one is overfilled. Okay. I think put too much resin in the beginning. It's not gonna work. Let's take out this jewel or something. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, this is really messy. <sighs> okay. Oops. Okay, so I had to take the embeds out because I made the bottom layer too thick. And then when I tried, to put the caps on, the lids on, it wouldn't close. So, I'm just gonna try to fill this. With some clear resin. I don't even know if that worked.
this resin is so hard to squeeze. Okay. Oozing out the side here. I'm gonna just try clean this up. No, it's not true. It's not true. No, it's not true. This is really messy. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp for probably like six to seven minutes, maybe eight, and then I'll show you the unmolding. Okay, fresh out the mold. I did turn it upside down. The one thing I forgot to do though was to heat gun it after I filled the mold all the way up. But hopefully the overpour um, squeezed out any air bubbles. So let's demold this guy. 
Is it ready? Ooh, that feels pretty good. Okay, the stems seem to have formed really well. And um, the embeds are stuck in here because they had resin on them. But uh, I'll just make a keycap out of those, I guess. Can peel them out. I'm just gonna loosen up the sides here. Oh, there is some flashing. I'm just gonna peel that off. Hold on, baby. Okay, so there was flashing basically from the over pour from the spill. I'm just gonna bend this. Okay, actually the mold is still warm. I'm gonna let it cool down, but I will try to peel off as much as I can. Here on the sides to clean up as much as I can. It's kind of hard with these gloves because they're too big for my hands. But I must say the stem the stem formed really well. I know it's probably hard to see, but just by feeling it, I think it may work. Oh, this one has a air bubble in it, but we'll see. And the stem, we'll see if that works or not. This one feels pretty good. This one has an air bubble in the stem. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me try to demold this so oh, this one connected to this one okay so oh no it's just a whole bunch of extra i'm just gonna try to snap it off Clean up the flashing here. Okay, it's starting to pop out. Okay. Let's take a look. The edges are very messy at the moment, but I'm just gonna break it off. Oh, it might need a little more time in the lamp. Slightly sticky. I'm gonna just pop it back in. It's so hard to see because it's clear, but I think it worked. It feels pretty good actually. Okay, I'm going to cure this a little longer and then show you the final result. Okay, here are the finished results. After I cleaned them up, I just kind of trimmed them with scissors and then used a nail file to smooth the bottom out. Uh, one of them has an air bubble on this side right here, just right there on the very bottom. And this one came out pretty perfect. So, yeah, for my first try, not too bad. Kind of disappointing about the embeds. But these just aren't as tall as I would like them to be. Question is, will they fit on a keyboard and actually work? Let's find out. Okay, here's the final result. A glitter crystal keycap. It definitely has a different feel than the PBT. Like this one kind of seems springier. This one doesn't. Feels lighter. There's not really much feedback as much. I don't know how to explain it. I think the weight of the PBT keycaps kind of give it a more of a bounce. But yeah. Not bad for my first try, I must say. A lot of possibilities. You can see the red switch through the keycap. Let's turn the keyboard on and see if we can see any lights. Oh, 
Did you see that light? It's kind of hard to tell because it's bright at the moment, but... Hmm, not bad. Oops. Whoa! Oh yeah, feeling-wise, feels pretty good. Just have to figure out a way to make like very tiny embeds. <laughs> That's the hard part. But other than that, crystal keycaps, not bad. I forgot to mention that this profile matches my keyboard perfectly. So I'm assuming these are OEM profile keycaps and the stems fit. So I'm guessing it's Cherry MX. Let me just give you a side view. Do you see that? I don't know if this is a uh, focused, but yeah, not too shabby. Yeah, a lot of possibilities. So stay tuned for more videos. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to be notified of when I post next. Also, thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below of what you think of these keycaps that I made. And also, if you have any ideas for future keycap videos, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.